and welcome once again to Solo Board Gaming Presents Warfighter World War II, The Maquis. And quick sit rep, our brave French resistance fighters are on their way to join up with other members of the Maquis from around the area to liberate the town. Now, at the very start of our last turn, we paid one action to lay this location card, this small village here entitled Houses. And that card spawned all of these hostile soldiers. We have recruits screening the rifleman and all screening the officer at the top. There's only one officer, see the number one in the reticle, but there are three of the riflemen and two of the recruits. And our situation is, Moretis only has one action left. Couperin has two. Sapphire has one. The entrance cost to, these, uh, to this location here is two. Now, Moretis could make it, because we have a movement of two, but that would be our last action. Can't do anything once we get there. And as for Couperin and Sapphire, they can only attack at range zero. In other words, they can only attack from here anyway. So somehow we have to move them in and they have movement values of one and one, entrance cost of two, and we have barely any, I think we have two left, action cards with which to pay any entrance costs. We really are in a sticky situation right now. Well, we have to think of something. So, uh, okay, Moratis has one action and two movement allowance. He could move into that card, but then do nothing. We virtually know, let's see what we have got. We've got Overwatch and we've got Kick in the Door. I don't think I have an option. I have to spend that second action to discard and draw four more cards. That's up to my maximum hand of five. So let's have a go. One, two, three. Four. Okay, wish us luck. We have, we have flanking attack. You or any soldier, if we upgun it by spending an experience point, may perform a move and then immediately perform an attack without spending actions. Oh my gosh. But it would cost two. Ah, oh, it would cost two cards to play it. Prepared fire. Uh, play when you or any soldier, if we have got it with an experience point, declare an attack. The defeat cover roll is automatically six. That's good as well. Snapshot. You, any soldier, may perform an attack without spending an action. And we have. A location marker. Well, that's no good anyway. Wow. I'm going to have to have a good look at these. Okay, I've had to take the time to <laughs> really study these cards. And it's difficult because I've now got a few good cards. I'm going to use flanking attack. <clears throat> it's going to cost me two action cards to play it. I'm going to play it for myself. You may perform a move and then immediately perform an attack without spending actions. I'm going to spend the two action cards, this one. And unfortunately, Overwatch. Didn't really want to, but I'm going to have to. This is so important and you'll see why. And that will leave us three action cards. But as I say, 
I have to discard those two. To play flanking attack. There's flanking attack right there. I've discarded my two cards for support. I hope I'm getting this right, guys. So it's Moratis that's going to make the move without spending an action. Here he goes into the village. And he can perform a free attack. And his free attack is going to be grenades. Now, I've gone in a little bit closer so that you can read the grenade card. Its range is zero. And I'm now at zero range. To hit, I need a seven. But I get four attack dice. Its penetration is one. That equals out the fact that the cover value of soldiers in the village is increased by one. Remember, it stays there. Plus one cover. So for this attack, because we have a penetration of one, we'll forget that. And we need to defeat... The cover value here. Remember, these guys, the recruits, are screening the others. So I have to target the recruits. So that's what we'll do. We'll get our defeat cover dice. I've got to get two or more. And we need three. No, four. Four. Yes, four attack dice. There's the cover dice. One attack dice. Two, three. And what's my lucky colour? Uh, let's try a green. Okay, four attack dice in there and the defeat cover, D6. Let's go, grenade! What have we got? Cover, defeated. No way! Look at this! We've got a three, which is no good. We've got a one, which is no good. But we've got a ten and a ten. Two kills! Boom! Moratis, you're a hero! Bang! Goes the grenade. Two kills. One, two. I'm going to take that targeting marker off now because there's no one there to target. They've gone to meet their maker, those poor recruits. What a result. And of course, they no longer screen. And in fact, to show that, what am I doing? Let's remove the card completely. Fantastic. Okay, now, this card, Flanking Attack, didn't give me any choice to retain the card, because sometimes you can pay to retain it for next turn. Can't do that. I have to now discard it, but what a card. Old Moratis on a flanking attack round the buildings. Lobbed a grenade into their position. And, of course, it's worth saying, before I forget that the value of those recruits was one, same as them there, and therefore Moratis, because he's the one that finished them off, he gets an experience point. That's going to be useful. Well done, Moratis. Quadiger, on the way to you, my son. Now, Couperin, he's going to spend one action point had you forgotten this? Because he has to reload his clip. Okay. Reloaded. And he can only fight at range zero. So our number two here is going to see if we can finish off this sniper team. Come on. So what do we need? Couperin needs. Oh, what should we do? Auto? Yes. Okay. So, he'll roll one defeat die. 
And what is it? Three? Yeah, three. Action die, but only one of them's gonna count. It's auto, it's not spray. And in fact, just a cotton picking minute. Okay. Moratis is gonna play this card. <laughs> to help out Cooperan. He's a good leader, you see. Prepared fire. You play when you or any soldier declare an attack. Well, Cooperan has just declared this attack. Treat your defeat cover roll as being a six, because that was going to be hard to defeat. It's a four. That's what we're playing. That's what we're discarding. Now, the any soldier bit is in parentheses, which means we've got to upgun it. Do you see how this is flowing now? And we're going to upgun it by using one experience point. The experience point that he just earned. So that he's assisting Cooper Ran. How's he doing it? I think he's now got into the village. He can see a better angle in which to shoot at the sniper team. Yes, to defeat the cover. That's my narrative. That's what's happening. Cooper Ran's going to take his shot. I'm going to take the defeat cover die out. Because he's automatically defeated the cover with that prepared fire. He's going to roll three. Please, 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 please. He's got a four. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Oh, we need an eight. There's a seven. He adds one to the attack roll, so it's an eight with his gunman skill. And what was that one? Good job, because that third one was a five. That seven becomes an eight because of his gunman skill. I love it when a plan comes together. So that's another KIA. The sniper team is finally defeated. And in fact, Cooperan wins three experience points, taking him up to four. There's two there for him. Two there for him. Let's take these off. Now, now it's looking better. Now it looks like we have a chance. Okay, so things are a bit clearer now. Uh, there, by the way, was Cooperan's gunman skill that added plus one to his die roll. Uh, before we forget, the shot was his second action. Cooperan has no more actions. Now, Sapphire has one action. Oh, she can't fire at anything because her default weapon gives her only a range of zero. Oh, crumbs, come on, come on, come on. What does she do? She has a movement value of one, but this is going to take two to get into here. Uh, so we would need to spend an action card. Do we spend our very last action card? Because it's a good action card. It's snapshot. I could use it now. For instance, Moratis could take a snapshot along this well against that card there without spending an action. But just one single shot, is it going to make that much difference? I think it's going to make more difference if we can move Sapphire into the village. So I'm going to discard that card, which is our last action card. I wonder how many of you are saying, no, that's a brilliant card. I know, but hopefully you've understood my reasoning. We'll discard it so that number three, Sapphire, can move into the village with Moratis. Okay, That's, we're out of actions. And at least there'll be no reloading next turn. But we are gonna have to spend another action next turn to draw some more cards. You can see now how vital that card draw was. It was essential. Okay, hostile turn. That's these guys. There's no reinforcements on the card, but the officer does reinforce. Darn it. Reinforces 
zero to two. So it has to be an exact number zero to two, a zero card, a one card, or a two card. If it's a three card, then no hostiles will join us. Okay, zero to two. Draw for the officer's reinforcements. And it's a four. Whoa, look at this. Now, just to explain that, the strength is a four. Okay. He only reinforces if it's a zero, a one, or a two. So it's immediately bust and we don't draw again. And thank goodness, because it's a two, five, one half track with a cover value of five. <laughs> so that doesn't reinforce, it, it passes right across the northern perimeter of the village and takes no part. Yowza! Okay, but now they're gonna do their attack. First of all, these guys are gonna attack number three. Ouch. Now remember, number three, and that sapphire over here has a cover value of two. But because she's in the village, we gain plus one, so her cover value is three. Now, how many of these soldiers are left? There's three left. It's important because here we have three, two, or one left. So we're looking at three left. So they're gonna roll three dice. Ah! Anything five below is a miss. Anything six or above is one wound. So here's their three dice. There's their defeat cover dice and they have to roll a three or more. Into the cup. Oh, and they've not defeated the cover. It's a one. What else do they have? A seven and a four and a three. So have a miss, a miss, and that one's a hit, isn't it? Yeah, one suppression. And it's a suppression, not a wound, by the way, because they didn't defeat the cover. If they defeated the cover, it would have been a wound. So, Sapphire, is suppressed. That could have been worse. And now it's the officer. Officer's gonna fire at number one, Moratis. Okay. Now Moratis has a cover value of three. He's in the village, so it becomes a four. So that his defeat cover roll on the D6 needs to be a four or more. So that's the first thing we've established. He's only rolling one die. If he gets a three or less, it's a miss. Four to seven, it's a wound. Eight to nine, it's three wounds. And if he gets a 10, it's a kill. So one defeat cover die, and he needs a four or more, and one attack die. Into the cup. Moratis, get your head down, mate. No defeat cover. It's a one. And, oh, he rolled a nine. So it would have been, if he defeated the cover, what would it have been? Three wounds. But instead, he didn't defeat the cover. So it's a suppression. So Moratis too is suppressed. To finish the hostile turn, they have no need to close the range because both of their targets are here. They have no su suppression to lift. So that's fine. We merely move the timer counter down to number five. Oh, time's ticking by. And it's time for our next turn. 
but we're not going to take that turn just now. We're going to leave that for our final video next time, the finale, where we'll have to deal with our hostiles and get into our objective to the end of the game. This has been a great turn. We've escaped so far by the skin of our teeth. Join me again for the finale of Maki Liberate the Town. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.